Hey guys, before you click away and you think I'm clickbaiting you and it's a vlog, you don't want to say through the whole thing, I get it. But seriously guys, I would really recommend staying to the end. The reason why is I have an opportunity for you guys to get the questions you want answered to the next level. I have the Ask Jade show. I review your guys' accounts for free and I do paid consulting. But this is probably, this is hands down better than every single thing I've done. Really excited. It's an application and there's only limited spots. Just stay to the end if you just want to be a part of a project. Cool? All right. Listen, it's been a while. Like, I feel like everything I do is all about Instagram growth, which you guys love, which I love, but we're gonna go on some more personal level type you know? It's time to get close. It's time to bond. You know what? The Dharma Nation has been slacking on personal relationship creation. I'm getting ready for everyone new to my channel. My name is Jade. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm obsessed with helping you grow on social media, and I normally don't look like this. We're about to make it look better, okay? Okay. Uh, it's snowing by the way. I live in Portland, Oregon. What the heck? So I'm gonna get ready. Decided to go for two tones of stripes because society standard. You know what? Mitts match prints are gonna be in and I'm gonna claim it first. Currently guys, it's 9 a.m. I'm gonna finish up getting ready. We're gonna head over to HQ2. You guys know that's where I work. I like use their coffee space, you know, coffee shop lifestyle with my dad. Dad, you haven't been in vlogs in a while. Yeah, I'm not your pet project. <laughs> We're at HQ2. No, can I stop us? No. I ordered this. And I ordered a coffee latte with extra almond milk. Let's do a coffee test for today. You guys know I'm really brutal and honest with coffee. So yeah. <laughs> you guys know that I teach about social media and I've been working on my child, the application I'm developing. My dad just programmed it and code with his team. When I say bare bones, like I mean the bare bones of the app, but now I'm able to edit it, add some content, and I heard you guys wanting to know when it's gonna be launched. It's gonna be launched, you know, the 1.0 version, okay? I'm, I'm talking about beta. So it's a newborn child, so it's not gonna be as, you know, user interfaced beautiful as, I don't know, like Instagram, but probably this month. Um, and ooh, ooh, okay, but just imagine growing your social media free and you're able to get information you want that's entertaining, motivational, and educational. But on the go, you don't have to stare at a screen, it can you can turn off your phone, it can listen on the go in the car. It's the more 360 version of a course. The best part is it's free. I just want you guys to use it. That's all. It's gonna be whatever you want it to be. My biggest worry is if it's not able to provide as much value, it's really dependent on me to create the curriculum, I guess. Yeah, it's bare bones, so don't judge, okay? Actually, judge it you know what judge the f out of it also tubebuddy just bumped me up to a vip affiliate i never talk about tubebuddy but i use it every single day it's the seo engine like the machine i use that really dictates whether i post a youtube video or not aka this is my ride or die i have the pro version it's free just click the link below it's free you can buy the version if you want i'm not even telling you to buy it just like Check it out, it's amazing for YouTubers. And if you want to support this channel, just, just click the links below. You know what to do, support the channel. Yeah, I need to eat tonight. $5,000, don't make this back, I promise you. And you can make it up and fluff it up as what ways you want it, but that's what I have to say. So like I said, I mean, you know, it's, you require you to be more. Because everything's about watch time. Every, every single thing on YouTube is just watch time. So if people, if you're thinking like, okay, people are playing a button in the corner and they're watching it, like, great, like, all right guys we're back home i thought in this time being i'd answer a few of your dms focus on me i would stay to the end there is some audience participation involved but if you're not a part of the dharma nation and you like to be all you gotta do is subscribe we're third we're like 12k strong oh my god we're so close to 13k <gasps> what the we're almost 13k strong so like and subscribe before i hop in i just realized I have to make my mom call my counselor because when I dropped out of school, I don't think everyone realized that I was actually leaving. So I'm gonna go make my call, mom call. Sorry, interruption. Mom, you need to go call my counselor now. They, uh -huh. they wanna talk to you. Thank you, just a moment. Yeah, All right guys, I guess I didn't make it clear to my school that I left school. Now I gotta sign some papers. If it weren't for you guys, I think dropping out, I, I would have dropped out like anyways. <laughs> But now, you know, having an audience that really cares about what I care about and helping you guys bring value makes a lot of the stuff I want to do possible. So thank you so much. So a little FAQ. I have something called the hashtag Ask Jade Show. I said that before. It's literally where I call you up and answer your questions about growing on Instagram, your business. Um, and it's free. The only thing is there's currently a three-week waiting period. <laughs> currently, there's like a three-week waiting period. And I only accept like 10, 15 people per slot. So it's every Saturday. I want you guys to be on it. There's so many messages like, Jade, get me on the Ask Jade Show. And I'm 
I'm like, okay, solution is since there is a waiting list, if you want to be on the next Ask Jay show and you want to get notified ASAP, there's a waiting list. Just click the link below at the end of the video. Do whatever you need to. It's just a link in the description box that will take you to a sign up page. I did a thing called I Roast Your Instagram Accounts, and if you guys loved it, like till this, like right now, I'm getting like a stream of like messages saying, Roast me, Jade, roast me. If you want to be roasted and you want to hear honest feedback on your account, I promise I'll be nice. I just want to give you honest, you know, criticism. So if you want to be on the next live, all you got to do is just click the notification bell. I just do it sporadically, so it will be random. Let's hop into a question I got from underscore the holy food. Hey Jane, I came across one of your videos. I've been thinking about ways to get attention to Instagram as an artist without losing the integrity or giving up on pushing original ideas rather than doing what everyone else does and is to be proven successful. Example being, this food account I started a few weeks ago, it seems natural to bring value in sharing recipes, but that is not necessarily what I'm interested in, although that seems to be the thing that gets the most attention followings. I'm wondering if you have any thoughts on that. It's something that is on the mind of a lot of artists, friends as well, wanting to do something new and create and boundary pushing without selling out the holy food this is a really good question some of the things i get are vague this is a solid question so thank you you're a food account it is natural to do recipes because food creation is probably one of the biggest things so it's obviously natural to have you know that if you are an artist you could do another angle culinary art is so cool like it's probably trending at this point um i know people like watching that it's therapeutic you know listen man you are creating an account to get attention of people if people like recipes you need to understand that the recipes do work it gets value it'll get you traction so i say if you don't want to sell out be true to yourself and make content that you like the best way you can honestly fail is create content that's not you so there's a mixture i would always say yes do the following that gets attention comma mix it in with something you're actually passionate about for example if you're posting every day six out of the seven days post about recipes post about what's trending to get you traction for the seventh day or just one day out of all of them post something that you love the thing is guys you need to build trust with your audience if your audience wants to hear recipes you gotta build that bridge and then you can sell them whatever you want they're gonna pay attention if you give them the value in the beginning the hardest thing is just getting the traction and i emphasize this heavily you just told me the holy food that you've been doing this for a few weeks you can't expect much man you need to work for the next 36 months if you're about the arts then you need to take a different angle as soon as possible the hardest thing to do is transition i don't think you've really tried art to the whole potential make videos you need to think about how you can mix your recipes with art but six out of the seven days you need to talk about recipes because that's what's going to get you traction the next few years when you get the amount maybe you get your first 10,000 fans and followers then switch it over to art there's a lot of ways you can grow with your audience just don't be in a rush you guys are fucking rushing all the time in regards to not selling out don't sell out make stuff that you actually like make recipes you like cooking if you don't even like recipes and you feel like you're not yourself you know what to do because you're gonna be better off doing what you actually like in conjunction to what gets traction it's all about commas not periods okay do everything in together it will probably be the best way to get your first couple thousand people to pay attention there's three things you need in a really good piece of content education motivation and entertainment maybe i'm a little too much in entertainment i'm too comedic because <laughs> i'm so funny but you know what i mean like you need to have a good balance of three you want to stay in entertainment but you're over indexing in education just kind of spread yourself out make it make the content 360 like you don't have to limit yourself to just the recipe guy be the recipe comma culinary guy. The way you get there though for people to pay attention is just by sticking to the one thing first, making people pay attention to your recipes and then moving forward. You can always transition. People grow out of their topics as well. If PewDiePie kept doing gaming videos in 2018, he probably wouldn't have that much engagement. He's now doing reaction videos. He's now doing a lot of things beyond gaming and that's okay. But he took seven years to do it. So don't be in a rush. You can always transition your audience. Just give it time. You gotta milk them. Milk that milk your child treat your viewers as a child you need to grow with them and it'll take time and if you ever feel like whatever you're doing right now sucks and you're not being yourself imagine in a few years even you won't have to be a bullshit artist you can create the stuff you want just make people pay attention first and you can transition forward so to close this video and what you've been waiting for i don't know if i announced the comment winner yet um shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode so i'm building something called personal brand journey you guys don't see a lot of the behind the scenes work but now i'll introduce a little bit of the user interface it's very 
very beta. Okay, so I'm looking for a test group. So all the content I'm creating is, you know, a step-by-step -step course or guide to go on social media on Instagram, on YouTube. It's just your personal brand guide, like freaking blueprint, your freaking oxygen. So if you have an Instagram account, you're a business, you're a brand, you're an influencer, this is for you. I'm looking for a test group that can give me, like you can honestly roast me, or you can roast the app. I want to hear honest feedback. I want to hear content you want to see. You can actually look at the content I have and you can tweak it, tell me what you want to see next, add value to it, maybe put your own personal taste. Honestly, it's going to be a selective process. I only want to 10 people for the Dharma Nation out there. If you're not a part of the Dharma Nation, which you should, no worries. This is just going to be the very first beta thing. Here's what I've been doing today. I was laying out the content for the first launch. There's going to be multiple updates, trust me. Who wants to be the guinea pigs of the day? If you want to be a guinea pig, all you got to do is email me at this email, jdemong, so I'll link it below. Tell me about yourself, where you are, and how much money slash where you want to be at the end of this year. Your goals are. Me and my team will be reading them selectively. By the way, I got a lot of questions on the final launch. I don't know. Uh, maybe this year, uh, maybe this month. We'll see how it goes. As we were speaking, we just like literally, we're about to hit 13k subscribers. This is crazy to me. Thank you so, so much for the love. Have the best day ever. Email me, guys. Email me, email me. I will get back to you. If not, you can always DM me and I'll answer your questions there. Have an amazing day. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.